This isn't just any box. This box carries an important product, your product. So the way it's packaged matters. Make sure you choose a supplier that cares about your packaging as much as you do. Choose Crown Packaging. Our team of knowledgeable packaging experts are here to help you find the best products and equipment for your business through helpful on-site support. We simplify packaging procurement by bundling everything you need to keep your operation running at peak performance, from machinery to supplies to services and more. And with our network of warehouses located nationwide and just-in-time delivery, you'll always have the supplies you need when you need them. Discover why thousands of businesses trust Crown as their packaging partner. Contact us today. Thank you. So, why Springfield? I get asked that a lot, and I choose to live here because Springfield is a place that I can enjoy the life I want. I love the outdoors. in just a short drive. It only takes me 10 minutes to get to work. Or off to anywhere in the world. I know my kids will be safe and well educated. There are really good job opportunities after graduation. I'm able to work remotely and create on a high level. The healthcare options in this area are incredible. The options for housing and cost of living are so affordable. We have room to create. I love to experience the excitement of sports. Can't beat the food. Or the drinks. Why Springfield? Because all the pieces you need to create your own story are here. The only thing missing is you. You stand up. When you have the world's attention. When you have a chance to be heard. What statement will you make? What statement will you make? How will you be a part of something bigger? And make it something better. After you've moved through the halls and along the paths. That lead far beyond Missouri State and back again. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know. How to inspire dialogue that matters how to live and lead with integrity, and what it takes to make your Missouri Statement. 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 Make your Missouri Statement.
right here, right now! This is more than a game. This is one team united by one goal. One, two, three, there! We are your Missouri State Ice Bears. WebSportsRadio.com in association with KBFL proudly presents Missouri State University Ice Hockey. With the call, here's Steve Casson. And live from Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena, it is game one of the Division I season for Missouri State as they host the University of Illinois Fighting Illini. Hello everybody, Steve Casson, Scott Lutsky also on graphics, and tonight it'll be Jared Bratton doing camera work for you as Missouri State is now 0-2 on the season. The Ice Bears lost to Illinois State last weekend, and the Ice Bears against Illinois State as a Division I team, well, they right now facing Illinois State. Get my notes here. The uh, Ice Bears facing Illinois State have opened the season against them four of the last season. They are two for three against ISU. The Ice Bears did lose against Illinois as a Division I team. 6-3 on December 3rd, 2021, and 4-2 on December 4th, 2021. That is the first time both teams had played each other as a Division I squad. This is the first time Missouri State will play Illinois at home as a Division I team. And the last time these two teams met, you gotta go back to January 30th and 31st, 2015 at Jordan Valley Ice Park when both teams were Division II. And uh, coincidentally, those games were both 6-2 and 8-3 victories for the Ice Bears. And if you go back to the weekend, Missouri State last weekend, they are 13-9 and lifetime in season opening games, 8-3 and at home, 5-5-1 five, five and one on the road. And the Ice Bears have opened the season against Illinois State, as I mentioned, for the last six seasons. Missouri State says farewell to Brandon Baldwin, Hunter Cooley, Derek Smith, Noah Brussa, Cody Flan, Jake Kopinski, Bradley Anderson, Louis Shakes, and goaltender Bailey Stevens. But they have six newcomers that will make their way to Springfield, including Derek Cagle, Sean Hofstetter, Brent Anderson. And if you think that name sounds familiar, yes, that is the Andersons. Uh, of course, a couple of Andersons that make up that crew and the Andersons that I'm talking about is Brett and of course Brennan and Brennan played four years with Missouri State after leaving the Lindenwood Lions. There are two players that are back after not playing last season including Henrik Lohman, William Bezin uh, and William Beginski. Now, the University of Illinois, they have lost seven of their top scorers, their top seven scores. That's a combined 115 goals, 158 assists. Illinois is a relatively young team now with seven, so I make that 10 sophomores making up the core of the lineup, seven freshmen, along with six juniors and one senior, Alex Bogdanoff, who completes the roster makeup. So these two teams will start things off. It has been uh, one that has not been without trepidation as Missouri State hopes to get back into the win column after the couple of losses to start the season. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about more, including starting goaltenders in just a moment. Right here on Web Sports Radio. Tri-Lakes Marine has upped its game. Not only is Tri-Lakes Marine the largest Yamaha outboard dealer in the state with G3 aluminum fishing boats and a full lineup of Suncatcher pontoon boats, Tri-Lakes is now the area's newest and largest Bennington dealer. 
Pennington pontoons are the pinnacle of luxury pontoon boats, and Tri Lakes Marine has several models in stock. If you're ready to up your game on the lake, stop by Tri Lakes Marine today on your way to Table Rock, just 15 minutes south of Nixa on Highway 160, your full service boat and motor dealer. Hey, Springfield, are you ready for some hockey? Here's Barrett. Left side with the V-line on over to O'Brien. Back to Barrett. Score! Steve Casson here, voice of your Missouri State Ice Bears. Join us at Jordan Valley Ice Park in downtown Springfield for this year's excitement. This is head coach Jeremy Law. The Bears are back for another season, so check out our schedule at MissouriStateHockey.com and get your tickets now. Here come the Ice Bears. Turin with Bell catching up. Turin shoots. Score! Oh, baby! This is Barrel Bob, MoDOT's work zone spokes barrel. <laughs> You'll be seeing more of me as the weather warms up. Crews will be working on our roads. That means lanes will be closed for construction and maintenance work on our highways. As you approach a work zone, please don't drive distracted. You need to pay attention. I want you and my friends working on the roads to all get home safely. Remember, buckle up and put down your phone. A message from the Missouri Department of Transportation. Back at Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena. Game one between Missouri State and the University of Illinois. I mentioned Jared Bratton is joining us. And Jared, you're not able to play tonight. That's got to be tough. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I mean, I'd love to be out there with the boys, but pretty excited for the boys to be back at the Jordan Valley Ice Park and be back at home in front of all our great fans. When uh, do you think you'll get back in the lineup? Um, I'm hoping to be back uh, this Wednesday coming up next week. It's uh, when I see the doctor, so hopefully I'll be back and ready in full force. Speaking of full force, what happened, because obviously you were there, what happened last weekend against Illinois State? Uh, I think the boys just had kind of a slow start, and uh, I think we'll be back tonight, and I think we kind of just got our feet wet a little bit. A lot of new guys, and we're kind of figuring it out together as a team, and I feel like tonight's going to be a very different story. Is it tough because... Well, really, up until last weekend, all you had to do was play against each other. You really had nobody who you – you didn't know the moves. You know, you, you practice against each other. You kind of know each other's moves. Or you knew nothing about Illinois State last weekend. Yeah, yeah, they're a pretty new team, and we didn't really know what to expect going into it. And I kind of lacked that. And um, I think that this weekend might be a little different. So. Well, I appreciate you doing camera work for us here tonight. So uh, thanks for doing that. And, and like I say, I hope we get you back in the lineup pretty quickly. Yep, looking forward to it. All right, that's Jared Bratton. Actually, you know, I, we won't go away for just a second because you're also another kind of in the line of the Brattons. And uh, what made you decide to want to come to Missouri State? Now, I think I know the reason, but what's the reason? Uh, I mean, my brother just talked about how awesome it is here and how big of a family it is. Everything hockey, outside of hockey, it's it's a great, great experience around the rink, outside the rink. It's, it's, a, it's a family. It's awesome. All right, appreciate that. As Jared Bratton, as I mentioned, will be doing camera work for us out of Arnold, Missouri, the sophomore. Well, let's take a look at the starting goaltenders. Now, we know for a fact that Nolan Woodring will start for the University of Illinois, the sophomore, 6'2", 205, out of Downer, Downers Grove, Illinois. For Missouri State, there has been no decision from head coach Jeremy Law, so we think it'll be the senior, Matt Griffin, 6'2", 200 out of Glen Carbon, Illinois. Griffin in two games, 0-2 with a 3.08 goals against average and a 9.08 save percentage. But again, that is just two games. That number will get better. The rankings have come out, the preseason rankings. Number one, Central Oklahoma. They had seven first place votes. Last season they were 31 and five, but they have already lost this season. And that was kind of a shocking deal to Maryville. So we'll see what happens with the next ranking. Nevada, Las Vegas is two. They had five first place votes, 26, five and one. Is their record. Adrian was number three at 24 and six last season. They had three first place votes this year. Minot State four, they were 25 and three. Liberty was ranked number five. 
21-9-1 was their record. And of course, the first rule in broadcasting, do not talk over the horn. It's a loud one. As you can see, the Ice Bears are making their way out onto the ice. In just a moment, we will have the starting lineups and a puck drop from the head coach of the Missouri State Basketball Club. Let's join Kevin Thurow, the public address announcer. Between the Fighting Illini of the University of Illinois and your Missouri State Ice Bears. Now who's ready for some Ice Bears hockey? Let's get started with your starting lineups for tonight's game, beginning with the University of Illinois. Starting out of forward number 15, Gregory Entengen. Starting out of forward number nine, Jack Kolb. Starting out of forward number six, Alec Bogdanov. Starting on defense for the Illini, number 25, Andrew McLean. Starting on defense number three, Leo D'Andrea. And starting a net tonight for the Illini, number 30, Nolan Wooding. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the heart of Springfield, Missouri, and inside the Jordan Valley Ice Park, within the beautiful Stan Melton Arena, it's time. Everyone on your feet, let's meet the starters for your Missouri State Ice Bears. Starting at a forward, and your new team captain, number 74, Jacob Wuita. Starting at a forward, number 18, Matt McGowan. Starting at a forward, let's give a warm welcome to number 91, Josh Olsen. Starting on the fence for the Bears, number 12, Joey Bucardi. Starting on the fence, number 25, Tommy Rimmer. And starting in goal tonight for your Missouri State Ice Bears, number 29, Matt Griffin. And joining the Ice Bears on to the ice tonight, standing in at five years old and a, and a student at Willard East Elementary, part of Jordan Valley Ice Park's Ice Cups program, let's welcome Thomas Higdon to the ice. The Bears are coached by head coach Jeremy Law and assistant coaches Cliff Cook and Josh Bell. Your officiating crew for tonight include referees Justin Albright and Mark Marzola, and linesman's David Hill and Craig Ford. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as we honor America with the singing of the national anthem performed tonight by Leah Henderson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight or the So gallantly streaming, and the rockets rang the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. 
Our national anthem from Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena. State University Bears head basketball coach Dana Ford for our ceremonial puck drop to get our Ice Bears 2022-23 season started. Coach Ford is entering his fifth season as the head basketball coach here at Missouri State. He played for Illinois State University and became the youngest head coach in NCAA Division I at Tennessee State University. Coach Ford led the Bears to a 23-11 season last year, finishing second in the Missouri Valley Conference. It is Missouri State Basketball Night at our Ice Bears game tonight, and Coach Ford and his Bears get their regular season started here in Springfield on November 9th versus Missouri State S&T University. We encourage you all to get out and support our basketball Bears this season. Fans, let's give Coach Ford a big round of applause and best wishes for a great 22-23 season for the Basketball Bears. Thank you, Coach Ford, from the Ice Bears. And rumor has it we will talk to Coach Ford coming up uh, during this game. It's kind of been a tradition where he will get on the air and he will talk to us during the game. So we'll have to get a headset all set up for him. But Dana Ford, one of them very popular coaches right, with man, Missouri State. Make some noise for Ice Bears hockey. So we are just about to get underway here. Missouri State skates from the left to the right. And from the right to the left, it will be Illinois. In to take the draw, Jack Kolb. And for Missouri State, Matt McGowan. And we are underway in period number one. And the Ice Bears have possession, but quickly they cough the puck up. Comes right up the middle, it gets deflected. Stays in, oh, Leo DeAndrea kept it in with his skate and he took a little hit for the effort there, but he kept it in play. So Illinois with some, play, with, uh, some pressure now as it's cleared out, delayed offside and the Ice Bears have possession. Newly, as you heard, newly named captain Jacob Wietop sends it in. The goaltender Woodring sends it over to the far side. Now Wietop in there to put a check. Gets a hit applied there on Andrew McLean. Puck is to the far side boards. Apparently it's on side. Ice Bears keep it. They'll have it as Mason Kaspik will have possession of the puck. Kaspik, 6'3", 175, the freshman out of Bradenton, Manitoba, Canada. Far side boards, puck is taken away. It is cleared all the way down. We should get an icing call here. Icing with 18.58 to go in this period. We'll bring it back into the Illinois end of the ice. Jack Breckbill will come in to take the draw for Missouri State. And for Illinois, it'll be Alexander Matt Vive. Matt Vive, the junior out of Moscow, Russia. Seven goals, four assists last season for Illinois. The line I have it, they send it back down to the Missouri State zone. Nice Bears to put some pressure on, but it stays in. A blast, the first shot of the game. This one comes off of the stick of Francisco Deontay in front. I believe that's him. No, it's uh, Luke Appy. He's wearing number 28. So Luke Alpi, the one that got that shot. Uniforms are changed up a little bit, in case you're wondering if you're an Illinois fan. So there'll be some different numbers that'll be out there tonight. Puck to the right side, a shot by Derek Cagle is held on to by the goaltender Woodring. 18.24 to go in the period. And a faceoff stays in the Illinois zone. Terrence Josephson in now, along with Mark Mistanis. And right up the middle, Hofstetter shot, rebound, Ross score! Evan Ross 
Haas will get his first goal of the game as the first assist and first point for Missouri State. I'll take that back. Hofstetter got a goal in, a, in a last week's game, but he does get his first assist with Missouri State. So Sean Hofstetter will get the assist on the goal by Evan Ross, and Missouri State has the lead nothing. Ice Bears goal scored by number 71, Evan Ross. Assisted by number nine, Sean Hofstetter. Time of that goal at 141 of the first period, scored by number 71, assisted by number nine. That's so the Ice Bears lead one to nothing. And they score quickly here. Gregory Entenin with the puck. Entengen gets pulled off the play, and the Ice Bears' right will have it. He'll drop it down in low to Josephson, off of his stick, sent all the way around by Jason Kelly. Kelly out of St. Louis. He is the team president now. To the far side once again, nothing but fighting a line out. Big hit there applied as Alec Bogdanov gets sent into the corner. Ice Bears keep it on the line on the right side by Wright. And Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T, gets a shot off. Levi Wright, the junior out of Fenton, Missouri. 17.32 to go in the period. And Carlo Witter, we know for Missouri State to take the draw. Matt Beav will be in for Illinois, and the Ice Bears have it. Heinrich Lohmann, he is back this season. He did not play last season for Missouri State. Raymer, right past Lohman. Tommy Raymer will send it back down in. Tommy Raymer last season was 10th in scoring for Missouri State. The line are able to clear. Luke Alpi is able to get it out to center, but the Ice Bears return the favor. Raymer, he'll drop it down for McGowan. He'll work it to the near side boards. McGowan avoids a check. Off the boards again. Now this time to Raymer. Left side. It goes with a drive to Bacardi. Joey Bacardi with a drive. Now Matt V will step in front. Olsen to keep it in for Missouri State. Bouncing puck taken away. And here come the Illini. Sent in by Jacob Feldman. Feldman, the freshman out of Downers Grove. One of several players now new players, that is, for the Illini. Derek Cagle with the shot. It's blocked. Swept off the stick of Mustanzas, and it's cleared back out to center. Cagle again. Lost the puck. Grabbed by Midlitsky. Jacob Midlitsky with a shot that's steered into the corner. Now a spin-around shot that misses wide by Mustanzas. Puck gets deflected up into the net, and we'll have a face-off. This should come back into the Missouri State zone, and it will. 15.56 to go on this period. Face-off one, the Ice Bears will gain control again and hold on to that one. 1-0 Missouri State. Ross gets his first. Hofstetter with the assist. And the Ice Bears take the lead at 141 of the period. Draw one again. This time the Ice Bears gain possession. They can't clear, though. A bouncing puck kicked ahead. Now it'll go to Clayton Daw. Daw had to go off of his stick. We turn the other way. 1-0 Missouri State. Ice Bears with Brackbill to tip it through. At center will be sent in. Connor Lawson gets hit into the boards. And fans react to that. Now a shot. We're going to get a penalty. It's going to be a interference call after that shot into the boards. And Missouri State will go into the sin bin. This one will be Levi Wright's call. As apparently the officials say that is a no-no.
First power play for the Illini. Last season, they were 24.6%. They scored 29 power play goals for 118 opportunities. Bouncing puck stays in the right circle. Goes back behind the net. Matt Beave there. Puck back to the near side again. Calling for it is Alpi. It's off his stick, and he's going to have to chase back. Ice Bear Steel. Josephson with a drive, and it goes wide. 14.49 to go in the period. The Missouri State leads 1 0. Leo DeAndrea, his pass to the far side. It connected with Kolb, and he'll rim it all the way around the boards. 1.16 to go on the power play. Puck is cleared out to center and sent all the way down where thinking for it just a moment was Woodring, and he let it go. So the defense of Joe Dorian will grab it. 6 3 2 10 out of Elmhurst, Illinois. Bogged enough on the left side. Works it down in low. Up high now, a fanned on shot by Mastanis. Now a pile up in the far side boards. Dug out, and the Illini with a drive. Works up with 40 seconds to go on the power play. Puck too far for Dorian, and it's out to center ice. Bogdanov will send it back in for Dorian. Twenty-four seconds remaining. Coming up at the first period of admission, Derek Cagle will be our guest. We'll talk to him. Or maybe not. We may talk to Dana Ford. Not sure yet. Power play has one second. It has expired. And the Ice Bears with a little bit of pressure. Right out of the penalty box. Steals. He'll drive down in low, looking in front of McGowan. Too late and just behind McGowan. Cagle with the drive. It was not able to be tipped wide. Weetop, can he hold it in? Yes, he does. Intercepted, though, by the Illini. And DeAndrea, he'll send it all the way into the Missouri State zone. Partial change for Illinois. Puck dropped down to the near side boards. and sent right back the other way. Connor Lawson, he'll have it for the Illini. Dropped it down in low. 2.38, make that 12.38 to go in the period. Buck spun around. This one taken by Patrick McDonough and held on to by Griffin. 12.28 to go in the period and a 1-0 lead for Missouri State. Shots have now been upgraded, or updated, that is. I guess you can upgrade it if you get an extra shot, 2-2. Two, two. Josephson, but the puck is kicked back and won by the Illini. Sent in by Matthew McDonald. Sails into the near side boards. Around the referee and to the point. Delayed offside, puck is out to center. It'll be grabbed by Illinois. Ice Bears have it with possession to Tommy Raymer. Back around the Ice Bears net. Missouri State desperately trying to clear. They do. This is no icing. It's been waved off, so McDonald will chase it back into his own zone. Here is Winston Zwicky to the near side boards. Working it this time is Ettingen. Ice Bears keep it in. Raymer on the right side. Tommy with a shot. Good block in front there by McDonald. Ice Bears not able to hold it, and it's cleared and sent back into the Missouri State zone, and a full change for Illinois. The Illini out of their own zone. Dorian. Left side. Shot in. In the corner. 11-14 to go on the period.
Missouri with possession now. It's right, left side. Right drops it down in low. He's getting hounded and held up by Luke Alpi. Noah Malthner with possession. Ice Bears circle around, getting held up and stuck into the corner is Kaspik. Ice Bears cleared out. Oh, Kago with a big hit, and everything's good apparently. That one on Feldman. Now a shot from behind the net, right out in front, and Kaspik is denied there. 10.37 to go in the period. And that of a hit there. Crackville wins it, and Cagle will clear it. Goes over to the far side to Daw. Yeah, intercepted, though. And now here are the Illini with Mustanis. Daw comes in, centered right up the middle. Taken away by Midlinski, and it's out to center ice. He'll have it right side. And he gets taken out of the play, and the officials say play on, so they do. Now Missouri State with a two on two. Oh, we are going to get a penalty behind the play. It's a trip, and Cagle's going to go. Didn't see the official in the corner, but apparently. So second power play on the trip that's been assessed to Cagle. Second power play opportunity. Missouri State leads 1-0 on Ross's goal. The assist from Hofstetter. Drive comes in, and Witter with a big block there off of the shot by Alpi. So Illinois will set things up as DeAndrea will work it out of his own zone. Here's Alpi. Across the line. Now to Matt Vive. They circle it, do the Illini. Now they'll go with a quick change. Puck comes right up the middle. Good stick check there away from by Matt Griffin. So with 118 to go on the power play and 924 remaining in the period, face off will be into the corner. To the right of Ice Bears goaltender. Mac Griffin, so here we go. Face off is one and sent all the way down into the Illinois end of the ice. Dorian. Joe Dorian out of Elmhurst, Illinois, six foot, 210. Brings it across the line, into the zone. Working it is Mastanis. Near side boards, it is too far for the winger and Bogdanoff, and it's cleared. Ice Bears with a full sail change, and boy, did they need that. 38 seconds to go on the power play. 8.42 remaining in the period. Swept away and cleared by Carlo Witter. Senior out of Firth, Germany. Witter is still looking for a goal, his last goal against Maryville on the 4th of February. Icing is called here, 16 seconds to go on the power play, and 8.22 remaining in this period. Face off back in the Illinois into the ice. It'll be McGowan coming in to take the draw from Matt v, and the Ice Bears do win it. Olsen looking for a backhander, it's blocked into the corner. Missouri State looking for their first shorthanded goal here. They're working this like it's a power play right out in front. It got tipped, and now we get Wetop pushed into the goaltender and stoppage in play here. Probably bring the face off outside. Supplying thousands of customers over 50 locations. Crowd is deeply committed to helping you create the most comprehensive package 
But Missouri State working this like it's a power play and they have the disadvantage. Yeah, a little help by the defense as Wetoff got pushed in. Power play has expired right off the draw. And we're back to five on five. Connor Lawson's backhander goes all the way around to the near side boards. 7.50 to go in the period. Buck dropped down in low. Intercepted though by Missouri State. And it's back out to center. Nice pairs to reset. They keep it in. But now it's cleared, sent down. Do we get an icing? And we do. I think I'll bring it back into the Illinois end of the ice. Play is underway. It's in the Illinois zone. DeAndre is there, and he'll come out with it. Sophomore out of Chicago. Buck flipped in front of the Missouri State bench. Everyone gets out of the way. Buck goes deeper into the Ice Bears end. 7.06 to go in the period. And it's cleared out by Sean Hofstetter. We return the other way into the Missouri State zone. Here comes Mestanis. Still back behind the net. 6.45 remaining in a 1-0 lead for Missouri State. Ross is first, got the rebound from Hofstetter's shot. That one coming early at 1.41 of the contest, and that's been really it. Only nine shots total, now 10. With Missouri State putting their fifth shot on goal. Take that back. Yeah, they're fifth, so it's five and five shots wise. Here come the Ice Bears. They have a three on three into the zone. Hofstetter is like number nine. Kolb takes it away. And Illinois with possession. Work down in low. Luke Alpi sent out to center ice. Goaltender has to come out as. Got to make sure not only did Griffin cover it, but that he didn't get a stick that may have poked him or hurt him in any way. But so far, everything is good. Face off in the Missouri State zone. Six oh five to go in this period. First period intermission. If we don't have Dana Ford come up, then it is going to be Derek Cagle. Puck is cleared out to center and sent all the way down into the Illinois zone. McDonald. He's cut off at the far boards, low along the goal line. Worked around now to Bogdanov. Cleared out to center and sent all the way in. Ice Bears give this one up into the corner. A shot comes in by DeAndrea, and it's held on to by Griffin. 5.39 to go in the period. Face off in the Missouri State zone. Both teams complete their line changes. Face off one and the shot into the corner. They have forgotten the time. So we're going to get some bonus seconds here as Lohman gets taken out of the play. And there's a, a line eye down, but play is allowed to continue. We finally get a stoppage, but this is for a hand pass. This is not for any kind of injury. So we only lost 10 seconds in that whole situation, but it was definitely much more time. Faceoff should come outside the zone, and it will. Five twenty-eight to go in this period, and a one-nothing lead for Missouri State. 
Ross his first, Hofstetter, that is his first assist, second point of the season. Last minute explanations being told to the goaltender. Now here's Lohman, he will chase. Witter is there, not able to get to it. Ivory will be able to grab it, and Mike will send it up to center ice in front of the Ice Bears bench. Tipped away from the outreach of Alpi and along the Ice Bears blue line. Witter with a good box out in front. Ice Bears have it. Well, Lohman lost it for a second and were turned the other way. Back down to the Ice Bears zone. 4.53 to go in the period. Dorian. He'll flip it back down in. To the corner. Witter is there, puts a big hit. Eddie's able to get the puck out to center. And it comes all the way down where well, Wetop will chase. Keeps it in play after the attempted clearing by Woodring. Wetop sends it in front. McGowan with a drive. It's deflected as Wetop will ga gather the rebound. Let's it go to McGowan. Back into Wetop. He scores! <laughs> Give and go there as Jacob Wietop will get his first goal of the season, second point, and a nice give and go with Matt McGowan. And Missouri State has a 2-0 lead here in the first period. We'll catch the call from Kevin Thurow, but the Ice Bears now with this goal coming at 15-39. Ice Bears with some more pressure. Missouri State zone. goal scored by number 74, Jacob Wita. Assisted by number 18, Matt McGowan. Time of that goal at 15-39 in the first period, scored by number 74, assisted by number 18, and as the Ice Bears came in while we were listening to that, Olsen hit the outside of the post, and Missouri State could have had a 3-0 lead. But now we're going to get a penalty. DeAndrea will go into the box, and he gets a trip called. First power play for Missouri State. Missouri State last season on the power play. They were 22%. They're 0 for 5 now in this season. Hofstetter down in low. It comes right out in front as Caspic centered it through, and it almost deflected in. McGowan, right side. Now left side as they work with the Hofstetter. Up high from Raymer. To McGowan again, drops it down low to Caspic. Centering pass to McGowan on the near side, around Dorian of Illinois. Now Brackville on the ice. He'll work it around with McGowan. Up high to Raymer. Power play has 116. Here's a drive in, and it's held on to. Good play there. A wood ring. As the icebergs were ready to pounce on that one. Caspic right there. 2.57 to go in period number one. Face off to the right of Woodring. The Ice Bears do gain possession. 1.10 to go on the power play. Shot comes out in front. Olsen left side. We top it. He fanned on it. Partially it was broken up in front of him too. Now Daw. He'll drop it. In front to Lohman, then to Olsen, but it's off their stick. Kept in. Here's Olsen. Right side, he shoots. Gloved by Woodring. He'll hold on. Two thirty-three to go in the period. And it is a one, make that a two-nothing lead for Missouri State. 
50 seconds left to go on the power play. Olson. His pass intercepted. Alpi is there, can't clear it. Cagle holds it in like a goaltender. Over to Olson, right side. Left side, oh, and he just missed as he was right down the middle. Now Lohman, he's going to get a penalty. Lohman will get a cross check. As you can see, Lohman put a really unnecessary cross check there in the eyes of the official. So in 26 seconds, barring any further penalties, it'll be power play number three for the Illini. Fresh two minutes on the board for Lohman. I mentioned did not play last season. He's one of two. William Baginski did not play last season either. 17 seconds left in a four on four. Buck to the corner, Alpi can't get it, but Brackville can for Missouri State. Across the line, drops it down low, past White, or right that is, and Alpi, and Missouri State retreats. They're gonna go into the penalty kill phase now. 130 left in power play number three for Illinois. DeAndrea. Alpi. 115 remaining in the period. To the corner, it is cleared out to center. Here comes Josephson across the line. Josephson chased by DeAndrea. Now he's triple teamed. Alpi in there. Also helping out is Matt Vee. Cleared out to center. All the way back into the Missouri State zone with less than a minute to go here in this period. And Dorian with possession, 41 seconds. So about eight seconds difference between the game clock and the penalty time. Here is Bogdanov to race down the right, uh, left side that is. Now to the right side. Power play has 22 seconds. Shot comes out in front. Oh, what a save. And the whistle had blown. Mark Mistanis with a shot in front. Big save there by Griffin. And the whistle had blown. But it was that close. And Illinois. That close were the Illini. 14 seconds to go. Bogdanov down in low. Works it to Mistanis. It comes right up the middle. Bogdanov. He shoots. Goes wide. Far side with three seconds to go. We're back to five on five now. And there's eight seconds remaining in the period. Maybe one last rush. Four seconds to go. Puck is held in. Oh, it's off the stick of a Cardi, and that'll do it for the period. Two nothing after one. 141, Ross, his first Hofstetter with the assist at 15.39. We top his first, McGowan with the assist, and that's where we are right now after the one period of play. Ice Rares put 11 shots on Nolan Woodring, eight on Matt Griffin. Power plays, the Ice Bears were 0 for 1, and the Illini were 0 for three. So Missouri State who comes in at a record of 0 and 2 and Illinois with a record of 0 and 0. Somebody's coming away with a win here tonight. We'll see who it will be. We'll take a break and when we come back it's either going to be Derek Cagle or 
head coach of Missouri State basketball and Dana Ford. We're not sure. Stan Melton didn't set it up for us. Oh, yep, looks like it may be Dana Ford. We'll be back. 2 0 Missouri State. Tri Lakes Marine has upped its game. Not only is Tri Lakes Marine the largest Yamaha outboard dealer in the state with G3 aluminum fishing boats and a full lineup of Suncatcher pontoon boats, Tri Lakes is now the area's newest and largest Bennington dealer. Bennington pontoons are the pinnacle of luxury pontoon boats, and Tri Lakes Marine has several models in stock. If you're ready to up your game on the lake, stop by Tri Lakes Marine today on your way to Table Rock, just 15 minutes south of Nixa on Highway 160, your full service boat and motor dealer. Pearson Kelly Office Products presents Great Moments in Office Technology! When Julie gets bored at work, she writes funny captions to pictures of animals she found online. Then she realized she could send all of her pictures in one gigantic message to her coworkers. At that moment, Julie created Junk Email. Now, employees can enjoy their days watching auto-tuned sneezing pandas. There are plenty of ways to waste your company's money. Your copier shouldn't be one of them. Pearson Kelly Office Products. Business made simple. We are back at Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena. Now we get a chance to talk to a man that, well, we've talked to pretty much all the time this season uh, in the very first game of the season, and Dana Ford. And how are you, Coach? Doing great. How are you? Doing well. And usually it's in between play-by-play, uh, -play, play, but now we finally get to sit down and talk <laughs> with you and, and uh, have some, some good quality time. So all I know about the basketball team is it's pretty darn good. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we definitely had a great year last year, and, and uh, you know, it was the first year since 2011 that we were able to make a postseason tournament, and so we participated in the NIT. We played a, a really good Oklahoma team who, who probably should have been in the NCAA tournament. Um, we, we, we didn't win, but, but we did have a really good year. Uh, we finished with 23 wins, 13 conference wins, which is the most since 2011 so uh, definitely a lot of momentum going into this year and uh, we've hit the recruiting trail pretty hard this this spring and summer and I know that's usually what you have to do you come here you drop the puck and you're saying gotta go I gotta leave I gotta go I gotta go talk to some people you know uh, maybe it's a whether it's here at the, at the uh, school or, or something I know it's la happened the last couple of times but is it a situation I, I would think not but maybe with smaller schools it might be, but you don't have to fight over athletes. Like you don't have a two sport athlete that maybe you have to fight over, do you? Right, and, and, and our, our, our recruiting has changed uh, immensely the last year due, due to the transfer portal that, that Division One athletes now have the opportunity to uh, put their name in and, and, and go and play right away. Whereas it used to be, you'd have to do a year of residency uh, before you were allowed to uh, partake in a in a regular season game but but those rules are now over and so uh, we don't have to do as much recruiting this time of year that, that we've had to do in the past although we still do a lot uh, most of our recruiting now takes place in what's called the regular signing period which will be after our regular season in our conference tournament your first game it looks like november 5th with newman yeah, it's an exhibition game. Uh, we're going to open up the, the season uh, on November, I believe it's the 9th, the, the following Wednesday for the regular season games that count. But that Newman game is going to be the first time that we've had uh, these 14 new players that we brought in under the lights. So it's definitely going to be an opportunity for, for, for us coaches to get a true assessment to who we really are and what we're going to be capable of doing. And so uh, we're looking forward to that, and it'll be here before you know it. And that's the nice thing about certain sports. I know in hockey, an exhibition game is unheard of. I mean, it really, you, you, when you get going your first game, like here at home for Missouri State, it's, it's their first game at home. But for Illinois, it's their first game that they've been on the ice this season. It's got to be tough because you don't have a chance to look at things and, and adjust and all that kind of stuff. But you at least get that opportunity to do that. Yes, and, and we're even fortunate enough to play a close scrimmage even prior to an exhibition and you, you know we just we just talked about this today as a staff it, it, it goes back to the um, 
a Mike Tyson quote, everyone's got a plan until they get hit. Well, for us, we can get hit when it doesn't count and we can make the adjustments and it may be some things that we didn't quite work on that, that got exposed in that closed scrimmage or the exhibition and we can go back, work on those things before we kick off the regular season and, and have an opportunity to put a better product out on the floor. And, and it happens every single year. After a game or two, you go back, you readjust some things, whether it's what what, what you're doing defensively on the perimeter or what you're doing offensively uh, in, in your conversion game. It can be anything like that, but we always seem to adjust something after a scrimmage and an exhibition. You have been quoted and, and I've seen you talk, I've been to things, and I've even uh, seen you just kind of talk to players, uh, whether it's through TV or, or what have you. But you have been kind of been that inspirational coach, that motivational coach. Has that kind of been the approach that you take? It, it has been. And, and you know, I, I used to be a player, so so I have a, a understanding of, of what guys are dealing with. And it is a different student athlete than what we've had in the past in regards to um, the, the makeup and, 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 the, and the upbringing and how they're being raised. And so they're all looking to be, to be invested in now as opposed to maybe when, when you and I played our sport, we, we just did what Coach said. It, yeah. it, it, it didn't matter how he said it or what he said. If Coach said it, then we did it. But, but today's student athlete is a little bit different. And, uh, you know, for us it's bigger than basketball. Most of our guys are not going to be NBA players, although we like for most of them to play professionally. We understand that they're going to have to be great husbands, great fathers, great citizens. And so, you know, you need a daily motivation because sometimes you can get what we call lost in the sauce and, and think just because you score basketball, it, it makes you better than someone else. Or if you don't score basketball, you're not as good as. So we try to keep an uh, even kill and we try to invest in our guys as much as we can. You mentioned the accolades that this team had last season. Do you feel any sort of pressure to kind of live up to meet that expectation again? Well, we, we don't feel pressure, but we definitely invite the expectation. I mean, we, we want to be a group that's expected to be good. I mean, you you know, it, it, it always beats the alternative where, where people think you're not going to be very good. Now, I don't know if our team, due to the fact we have so many new guys, are going to experience as many expectations as, as the last two years when we had so many returners. But what I do know is I feel like this team's capabilities are are, are, are higher than, than some of the teams that we've had in the past, just simply due to the level of uh, athleticism we have, uh, the level of talent we have. Our guard play is going to be fantastic. Uh, we're going to miss some of our interior players from the last couple of years. But, but I really think that, that this group that we've put together is, is going to surprise some people, and they have the potential to win as many games, if not more, than last year's group. Speaking of group, you're just not the only coach. There's several people and pieces that are part of this program that make up this program. So the success, although you're the head guy, it's probably due to almost everybody else too, correct? Absolutely, and, and for us, you know, it starts with our managers. We, we've got upwards of 10 managers, and these are uh, Missouri State students, uh, both male and female, that invest their time, energy, and effort in helping our program. They, they do a lot of uh, the, the behind-the-scenes work, whether that's a laundry or stats or um, whatever the case may be. And then that, that, that leads right into our graduate assistant coaches. We're fortunate enough to have two. Uh, one is Spencer Brown, a former player. Another is Matthew Morgan, a former manager. And then that leads up to our director of basketball operations, Marty Gross, uh, who's new this year. Uh, spent time with him at Wichita State. And then also we have a special assistant to head coach, uh, Randy Peel, who is with me at Tennessee State. And then we have three full-time assistant coaches. Um, Jace Hurls, our associate head coach, Sheldon Everett, assistant coach, and, and our new assistant, Buzzy Carruthers uh, from Nebraska. So, I mean, we, we have a great staff, and uh, there's a lot of work to be done, but we fortunately have a lot of hands on deck uh, in order for us to, you know, be prepared, and, and not just prepare for games, but be prepared to, to help these guys every day, no matter what it be, academically, socially, mentally, emotionally. So we, we do have a great staff. I know you've played basketball. I know you coach basketball. 
but has basketball always been your favorite sport as we're talking with Dana Ford, the head coach of Missouri <laughs> State basketball? You know, it, it has. I, I grew up in southern Illinois, and, and uh, ba basketball is king in, in the state of Illinois as a whole. When you think about Chicago and a lot of the names that have come from, from that city and obviously the impact that Michael Jordan had with the Bulls, I grew up. Sure you know, in, in the 90s. And, and so uh, basketball has definitely been my favorite sport, although I enjoy all sports. Uh, I'm now a father of five. I've got three boys and uh, my, my oldest son, he's a basketball player. My two younger sons, uh, they like all sports, whether it be uh, football, baseball, tennis, uh, hockey. They're both here with me tonight. So I've kind of broadened my view on sports ever since I became a father. But um, I remember growing up, you know, in Illinois, watching the Blackhawks, they were really good. And then yep. we, we lived in Nashville when the Predators uh, were, were really good. And, and I'm really good friends with, uh, with that organization. And, and, and we've helped uh, with some things, to, to the fight against domestic violence. So uh, I, I've got a little bit of a hockey background. And, and obviously coming out here every year with Stan, it's really grown on me. I think this is our fourth or fifth time doing this. It so. is. Uh, th this is really exciting, and then we we literally scored in the first minute of the of the home opener here, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is the first time you've had a chance to actually, you know, other other than being on the air with me, you've actually been able to sit down and yeah. cheer a goal for the Absolutely. first time. Absolutely, and, and we got two right there in that first. Uh, what what do we call them? Period. Uh, first period, and so uh, that was exciting. My boys are here. It's always a lot more fun when they're here. Uh, one one of them made a joke that. Uh, uh, they scored really, really loud off of one, 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 one goal. I said, well, son, it's not basketball where you're going to see 90 points. So that was exciting. Absolutely. It's, it's a lot different. But, you know, you could kind of say that basketball and hockey defensively have kind of the same rhythm to it. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to prevent a goal uh, or you're trying to prevent a basket. The difference is, though, I think with hockey, they're, they allow – a little bit more touching and a little bit more body checking than they do in basketball, because if if anybody got as close as these guys do, uh, there would be they'd be fouling out in the first 30 seconds. The, the the first penalty right in front of us where we're sitting in section T, that that young man would have been ejected from the yep. basketball game. Yeah, absolutely. So, but I, you know, as I'm sitting there watching, the, the similarity is in basketball. It's like you know, hockey is like a constant fast break in basketball where it's always, you know, three on one or three on two, and it's just constant conversion, conversion, conversion. So it's a little bit a little bit like that, and, and I was sitting there watching the substitution patterns. We're going to have a deep team this year. We may be doing some subbing like I'm watching Coach do tonight. Uh, uh, too bad you can't do it on the fly like they do. <laughs> I know, just right in the middle of the play. <laughs> Absolutely. Dana Ford, head coach of Missouri State Basketball, thanks so much for joining us. Again, we hope you do it next year because that means you're going to be here and yes. you're probably going to have another good season. Absolutely. So we'll like that. Looking forward to it. All right, thanks Thank so much. That is Dana Ford, the head coach of Missouri State Basketball. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we will have period number two for you. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Missouri, Barrel Bob here. I'm MoDOT's Work Zone Spokes Barrel. I see a lot of distracted drivers in work zones not paying attention to the road. Distracted driving is the number one cause of crashes. The average text takes five seconds to read. At 55 miles per hour, you could travel the length of a football field blindfolded. Don't take the chance. I want you and my friends working on the roads to get home safely. Please buckle up and put your phone down. A message from the Missouri Department of Transportation. We all love the fajitas, their margaritas get the crown. Don't forget the quesadillas, it's the best Mexican food in town. Now your favorite Mexican restaurant is open on Sunday. Yes, Maria's Downtown is open on Sunday. So bring your family and friends and enjoy Mexico with us seven days a week. Hold on to your salsa and your chips. Maria's on South Avenue in downtown Springfield. Pearson Kelly Office Products presents Great Moments in Office Technology. When Julie gets bored at work, she writes funny captions to pictures of animals she found online. Then she realized she could send all of her pictures in one gigantic message to her coworkers. At that moment, Julie created Junk Email. Now, employees can enjoy their days watching auto-tuned sneezing pandas. There are plenty of ways to waste your company's money. Your copier shouldn't be one of them. Pearson Kelly Office Products. Business made simple. Hey, 
Hey, Missouri. Barrel Bob here. I'm MoDOT's Work Zone Spokes Barrel. I see a lot of distracted drivers in work zones not paying attention to the road. Distracted driving is the number one cause of crashes. The average text takes five seconds to read. At 55 miles per hour, you could travel the length of a football field blindfolded. Don't take the chance. I want you and my friends working on the roads to get home safely. Please buckle up and put your phone down. A message from the Missouri Department of Transportation. We are back at Jordan Valley Ice Park. Stan Melts and Ice Arena underway with period number two as the Ice Bears have possession. In the period they skate from the right to the left, Illinois from the left to the right. Down in low, Matt McGowan trying to work the puck. Gains possession, right side, now to the left side. Joy Bacardi sends it again down to McGowan. Ice Bears cycle the puck. It's not a power play. We're five on five. Here's Bacardi. He shoots in and a safe rebound. It's loose. Woodring couldn't hold on to it. And here come the Illini. They bring it across the line. Drop it down in low. Intercepted. And taken by Missouri State. Line change for the Illini. They swing it into the far side boards. Clayton Daw. He's able to cut it off and send it down in low. Works it to Kaspik. Off of Kaspik, 18.39 to go in the period. Shot by Brett Anderson is taken away and cleared back down to the Missouri State zone. Anderson, yes, he is one of the Andersons, brother of Brennan and Bradley. He's a transfer from Iowa State. Ice Bears with a drive in from the right side. Derek Cagle, and it's gobbled up by Woodring. He'll hold on. 2-0 Missouri State, 18-16 to go in the period. And the Ice Bears with a goal by Ross and a goal by Wetop, both getting their first of the year. Ice Bears win the draw. Grabbed by the Illini and sent back in the Missouri State zone. Kaspik not able to hold on to it as Midlinski will send it behind the net. Shot from the left side is blocked. Now a drive again partially blocked. This one came off the stick of Mastanas and it's out to center ice. Shoveled on a backhander into the Missouri State zone. Over to the far side to Daw. He'll let it go and it's back out again to center. Ice Bears with a quick change. Puck sent down in low. Oh, a big hit there applied to Cagle. That one came from Mastanis. It is cleared out to center and all the way down and back down into the Iowa zone. All right, Anderson will retreat in the Missouri Stadium. Had a little trouble with it. Taken away from him. Connor Lawson. Grabbed again by Anderson. It's back out to center rice where it'll be Winston's wiki to have possession of it. And Illinois in their own zone. Puck stolen. Ice Bears have possession. 2-0 Missouri State. 17 minutes to go in the period. 13-8 are the shots in favor of the Ice Bears. Now shot comes right up the middle. And Hofstetter had it for a moment. Ice Bears still work the buck. They center it right up the middle and it's held onto as it was tipped in front by Sean Hofstetter. Line change for both teams. With 16.35 to go in the period. Ice Bears trying to gain possession in the zone. Take it away though by DeAndrea. Center right up the middle and Illinois will move the puck out. Malthner to Witter. Right side Carlo out of Firth, Germany. Puck sent into the near side boards. Ice Bears work the puck around. They have a two nothing lead. 
Jason Kelly is able to get it, but it's taken away from him and cleared all the way down, no icing. Racing for it is Gregory Ettingen. Now it's Bogdanov. Alec Bogdanov, three goals, three assists last season for Illinois. Here comes Garrett Wojcicki. Drive in, pad save, rebound, moved into the corner, and the Ice Bears do get a partial change on this. Off of Tommy Raymer's stick, and Missouri State will have to set it up again to Joey Bacardi. Tipped in by McGowan. 15.20 to go in the period. Buck sent around, and the Ice Bears have it again. Right through by McGowan. Raymer with a drive in. It's deflected off the goaltender and out of harm's way. Puck gets flipped up and out with 15 and the clock rolling. 15, make that, I'll no, call it 15. Left in this period. Shot 17 to nine in favor of Missouri State. They have a two nothing lead. Early in the period, then late in the period. 141 Ross, 1539 So the Ice Bears win the draw again. They look for a centering pass off of Bacardi's stick. Now behind to McGowan. Matt McGowan third in scoring last season for the Ice Bears. 10 goals and 17 assists. Here come the Illini with the drive in. Dorian's shot is blockered away into the corner. Olsen is there. Feldman with a check for the Illini. Now Matt V with a drive, it's blocked. Through some skates and cleared up into the bench by McGowan. So we'll have the puck back into the Missouri State end of the ice. Fourteen eighteen to go in the period. Face off to the right of Matthew Griffin. Cagle will help it to the corner. Daw will send it up and out. And we top the only one in. Here's Anderson, held in left side. That one off the stick of Andrew McLean. It's deflected into the corner for Missouri State's Kaspik. Kaspik with a return pass, left side, nice move. Kaspik shot in safe, rebound, save again. Kaspik with two shots, Woodring with two good saves there. And now we get an offside as late to change was Kaspik. 13.41 to go in the period. And a 2-0 lead for Missouri State. These same two teams tomorrow, we'll have it for you. Six o'clock will be the game time. Ice Bears gain possession with Maltner to send it all the way around. Into the corner to Hofstetter. Drive comes in, it's blocked. Hofstetter looking for it again. Pulled away from him, flipped up and out and all the way down where Maltener will come back into the Missouri State zone. He's being held up as Francisco Andante puts a little arm hold. Now he has it again with a shot in, save Griffin. I know he's wearing number seven, and it says Hayes on it, but it's Francisco Adante out of Glenview, Illinois. He's wearing number seven. Twelve fifty-eight to go in the period, and a two-nothing lead for Missouri State. Adante with some checking, but Ice Bears are able to get it. Here comes Ross. It's a two on three. Hofstetter, he gets held up 
nothing doing there. Puck is cleared and sent back down. Icing will be the call. Twelve thirty-three to go in the period. So that means coming up at the second intermission, we will have Derek Cagle. Buck one and the Illini with possession. Bogdanov sends it all the way down where Griffin will direct traffic. Cleared out to center for DeAndrea, sophomore out of Chicago. Puck flipped up, Lohman puts a check on DeAndrea into the boards, rebound out in front, just missed. Carlo Witter shot it behind the net. Great open net for Missouri State. Line change for Illinois. Nice Bears connect with Kelly. Here's Kelly and Lohman. Lohman waits, he shoots, save, rebound, there is none, it's gobbled up. And now we get broken sticks and pushing and shoving. And a couple of players down on the ice. That is now officially 20 shots. For Missouri State and I think there was an exception taken when Woodring was run into after the save. Do we get penalties to Missouri State and Illinois? And it looks like we possibly do. So Montvive is gonna go. We know that much. They always get the retaliation, they say. Well, doing our camera work for us tonight is Jared Bratton. And Jared, what did you see from your vantage point? Um, it seemed like the boys kind of were going to the net there and just went hard and they kind of ended up in a little messy scrum right there. So uh, I don't know. It looks like we're uh, down a man now. So let's kill us off here. Yeah, we'll have to see what happened because if we got the only two minutes, there must have been at least a penalty that does not go up on the board because Loman is in. And as you said, that will now be power play number four. We'll see if we can hear from Kevin Thurow just exactly what happened. Now there's 150 to go on the power play as the ice bear is clear. Penalties on the play to Missouri State number 11, Henrik Loman, a two minute minor for slashing. To Missouri State number 77, Carlo Witter, a two-minute minor for hooking. And to Illinois number 17, Alexander Motviv, two minutes for roughing. Time of those penalties at 8-12 of the second period, resulting in a two-minute power play. So that's the key. It was three total penalties, and it's a power play now, as two will cancel out. Shot comes in off the side of the net, and it is cleared. It came in from Mastanis, and it's out to center. So just the one up on the board, the Lohman, even though he did get a double minor. Well, Witter actually got the second one, so double minor assessed on the Ice Bears team. Now a power play for 48 seconds. Dorian couldn't hold on to it. It is cleared out to center. Cold. Near side pass, chipped out, uh, chipped out, that is, by Anderson. Kept in, though. Held in by McDonough. Dropped through the sticks of Entengen. Out to center. And 22 seconds left in the power play. Bogdanov. His pass is back out to center. 
And Illinois will start in their own zone and set things up. That gives Missouri State a chance to change. Eight seconds to go. And now, as you hear the tapping of the sticks, we're back to five on five. Now here's Ross. He'll chase the puck, but instead wants to wait for everyone to get in front of him. He gets pulled down. Play continues. Now we talk with a push. He gets a shot off, and he missed high and wide. To Anderson right side. That drive gets mushed behind the net. Wetop is there. He puts a check on. Anderson is able to get it with some help from the official, and it stays in the zone. Ice Bears, though, do had to clear. And they keep it again. McGowan. He's there. Puck is out to center along with Josh Olson. Into the Missouri State zone for a shot that's applied by Mike Ivory. And the Ice Bears have a three on, maybe a four on two. They do right, left side, to the right side, off of Weetop, who chips it in to the netting. So we'll have a face off with 8.49 to go in the period. And the two minutes has expired for Witter. He's out. And Witter had to wait for the next stoppage, and it was more than two minutes in reality. 8.40 to go in the period. Lots of checking behind the net. Off of the stick of Brackbill. Ice Bears keep it in. Sent down in low by Bacardi. Back into the near corner once again. Bacardi keeps it. Down in low to the Ice Bears, we top. Now a shot in, it just missed wide. It came off of Bacardi, we come the other way. And Bacardi, as he was retreating, is able to clear it and keep it in. He's able to clear it away from the defender. But now here come Illinois. Across the line to Ettingen. Down in low, Bogdanov. Kolb with it. He works around Bacardi of Missouri State. Cold still with possession for Illinois. Still working the puck. Great movement here. Cold drops it down in low. Shot comes in. Held in once again by McDonald. He shoots. It just missed wide. All sorts of peppering going on now as the Ice Bears can't clear the puck. They were looking in front to McDonough, and it's cleared out to center. Line change for Missouri State. They really need to clear, and it'll be covered by the goaltender. And Bacardi not happy with McDonough, interfering with Griffin. A little pushing and shoving there. But everyone's okay, so... We will have a face-off in the Missouri State zone, 7.13 to go in this period. Shots now 21 to 12. And they're going to kick Ross out. No, I guess not. It's all good, say the officials, and Missouri State will win the draw. Kegel, left side, looking for Ross two-on-one, broken up but taken by Anderson briefly. Moved to the other side by Adante. And it'll be Anderson. Nice lead pass right side, connects with Hofstetter. Spins, looking for some help, and he lost the puck as he looked up. Oh, a break, stays in. Here's Kegel with the drive in and a save. So Woodring will hold on to that one in Missouri State. Gets a break there as Nastanis fell down as he was trying to clear the puck. Six thirty-four to go in this period. Ice Bears with a shot. 
That one just missed wide. That one off the stick of Garrett Wojcicki out of Macomb, Michigan. Fans react to a hit in front. And now to the near side, we get a couple of players. Well, Jackie's probably going to go. He crawled all over the back of McLean. Oh, no, it's the other way around. Are they going to call interference? Let's, Scott, I didn't look to see who, what they called. Oh, okay. So Missouri State will go on the power play. This is their second. Three penalties, six minutes. And it'll be assessed to McLean. Looks like interference. Raymer. Ice Bears work the power play. This is number two. Shot in. Kicked into the corner. Puck is flipped up and out of play. Two minutes for interference. Time of that penalty at 13.49 of the second period. A two-minute minor for interference. That is the official call. Interference on that. Minute 37 left in it. One make that uh, five. 49 to go in this period, and Missouri State has a 2-0 lead. Ross is first at 141 of the first. We top his first at 1539 of the first also. Brackbill shot in, it's blocked and cleared. Maffey will go to the bench after blocking that shot, and Missouri State will set things up in their own zone with 115 remaining in the period. Or excuse me, in the penalty. Kaspik across the line, looking to center it through, does connect with Brackbill. He'll get it out of harm's way, and Missouri State will play catch. Goes up high, Raymer. Now Brackbill with a drive-in, make that McGowan with a drive-in. 18, not 10. 52 seconds remains. Hofstetter down in low. It comes to the right side, McGowan with a drive. Nice play there by the defense to make McGowan go wide. 44 seconds remains in the power play. 4.56 to go in the period. Ice Bears have it with Cagle. Drive that's deflected up over the net. Behind the net to Lohman. His pass hits a couple of skates. It's taken away quickly and cleared all the way down by McDonough. Ice Bears return across the line into the zone. Coming in is Daw. 11 seconds to go in the power play. Five seconds remaining. And we're back to full strength coming right through the crease was Olsen, and are we going to get a penalty on Olsen? What are they calling for? Net dislodged? That must be. I saw Mark Marzol, the referee, he was signaling something. Malthner with a drive in. That'll be held on to and a whistle. Hey fans, make sure to stop by the Ice Bears Booster Club table for your chance to win big with the Ice Bears Booster Club. Four minutes exactly left in period number two. Just outside the upper arena doors. The winner can claim their winnings after the game at the Booster Club table. We apparently are going to get a penalty. It'll be assessed to Carla Witter. 
That's his second consecutive penalty. Fifth power play for the Illini now. Face off in the Missouri State zone. The fifth power play for the Illini, but immediately Missouri State clears. So Illinois will set things up in their own zone. They now have 143 to go. This is going to be all the way down. This may be an icing call. It is. Jacob Cole couldn't connect on that one, so we'll have an icing with 3.39 to go in the period and 1.39 left penalty. So the Illini with possession off the draw. Missouri State steals, Kelly does, and it's cleared and sent all the way back. 318 remains. Well, Jackie gets hit hard. Play comes back in the Missouri State zone. Here's Mastanis. Held in by Bogdanov. Left side, Bogdanov now down the middle. Shot gets deflected up and out of play. Shots 26 to 12 now. In favor of Missouri State, they lead 2-0 on the scoreboard. Goals by Ross and Weetop. Those came in period number one. <laughs> 28 seconds left in the power play. And Ross pushing his man into the corner. And allows the Ice Bears to clear with 14 seconds to go. Joe Dorian. Back in his own zone. Missouri State allowed to change. Four seconds to go on the power play. And it is over. The Ice Bears Kegel sends it in. Would have been an offside, but he was on goal, high spare steal again. Weetop with a drive save, rebound loose. Weetop with a backhander, it's held on to by Woodring. One forty-six to go in this period. A two nothing lead for Missouri State. And although there's 28 shots on goal, they have been the basic shots for Missouri State. Here they come again. Here's a pass out in front. Weetop looking for the tip off the shot from Olsen. And it's cleared out to center. Olsen to pick up. Nice end-to-end -end move from Olsen. Still held in. The line I have it, shot out in front. Here is a spinning drive, save, rebound, and it comes through the crease. McDonough on the initial spinning shot from Adante, picks it up and just missed through the crease. He had an open corner on the left. Less than a minute to go. Bogdanov's pass, intercepted. Ice Bears move the puck. Here is Daw. He'll shovel it in the zone. Kicked into the corner now by Woodring. 45 seconds to go. Bogdanov will send it down in low. 37 seconds. 
Far side, Ice Bears are able to clear, get it out to center, and a delay as Illinois will have to clear. Second period guest will be Derek Cagle. We'll talk to him. Here's Dahl across the line into the zone. Dahl with it, centering pass, and Brackbill had it just the last minute broken up. Nine seconds to go. Bacardi keeps it in. Seven. It's out to center. Missouri State has to clear, and that should do it for the period. And that will. Period two comes to a close. 17 shots on Woodring. And just six shots. Well, let's see here. Yeah, six shots total in the period for a two-period total of 14 on Matt Griffin. So at the end of two periods of play, a 2-0 lead for Missouri State. Ross at 141 of the first. Hofstetter with the assist. Then Wetop at 15-39. McGowan with the assist to make it 2-0. And that's where we stand right now after two periods of play. We will take a break, and when we come back here from Derek Cagle of Missouri State. Ice Bears lead 2-0 after 40 minutes. Tri-Lakes Marine has upped its game. Not only is Tri-Lakes Marine the largest Yamaha outboard dealer in the state with G3 aluminum fishing boats and a full lineup of Suncatcher pontoon boats, Tri-Lakes is now the area's newest and largest Bennington dealer. Bennington pontoons are the pinnacle of luxury pontoon boats, and Tri-Lakes Marine has several models in stock. If you're ready to up your game on the lake, Stop by Tri Lakes Marine today on your way to Table Rock, just 15 minutes south of Nixa on Highway 160, your full service boat and motor dealer. Hey, Springfield, are you ready for some hockey? Here's Barrett. Left side with the V line on over to O'Brien. Back to Barrett. Score! Steve Casson here, voice of your Missouri State Ice Bears. Join us at Jordan Valley Ice Park in downtown Springfield for this year's excitement. This is head coach Jeremy Law. The Bears are back for another season, so check out our schedule at MissouriStateHockey.com and get your tickets now. Here come the Ice Bears. Joran with Bell catching up. Joran shoots. Score! Oh, baby! Back at Jordan Valley Ice Park. Stan Melton, I Serena, Steve Casson, now with Derek Cagle of Missouri State, freshman out of St. Peter's, 5'8", 170. And uh, Derek, first question off the bat, what made you come to Missouri State? Uh, you know, I grew up in uh, St. Charles. I uh, wanted to stay close to home, close to my family. I uh, knew a lot of people at the school, so it uh, worked out well. So word of mouth, basically? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Now, last season you had... Uh, Four goals, 12 assists with the St. Louis Junior Blues and then uh, the uh, prior season, and then you played with the Wausau Cyclones last season. Yeah. So you've been with the juniors. Now it's college, and it's a little different. Are you prepared for that? Uh, yeah, I think uh, taking two years after my uh, age out U18 year uh, really helped me, you know, uh, physicality-wise and uh, just up my game a lot. So, yeah, I feel like I'm ready. A lot of the guys take that time maybe to get into the gym. Did you do that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot of strength improvement, uh, skating ability, all that. You're kind of growing up in an era where hockey is getting so much faster, so much more skilled. Because in the when you grow up, let's say when I grew up, the gym really wasn't heard of. It was just like, can you skate? Well, oh, okay, we'll put you on a certain line. And if right. you can't, you're a goalie. But yeah. now it's so different, and there's analytics and all this stuff. Do you feel like growing up in this time helps you versus hurts you at all? Uh, yeah, I think it helps me. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, social media is a big thing too, right? You can watch a bunch of hockey highlights and uh, watch your favorite NHL players and then uh, you know try new things in practice and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it helps me a lot. And that's the one thing because you can – you can pick your favorite player. You can go YouTube him, and yeah. you can see what he does. Where when we grew up, we just had to wing it kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. But it's it's a little different as we're talking with Derek Cagle, 
of Missouri of Missouri State. So it's cold in this rink. Yeah. Is this the coldest rink you've been in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Afton Ice Rink uh, is where I played at uh, my first year out of high school. So that was a pretty chilly place. But I don't know. This this place is close. I heard they called it the Chiller or something like that. I've never heard it been called that, but I can see why. It's an ice box. Now you're coming in on a decor that graduated a lot of uh, their defensive players. This is a team that kind of prides itself a little bit on D. So what are your contributions to this hockey club? Uh, I feel like I'm solid in the D zone. Uh, I can move the puck up really quickly, too. I feel like the best part of my game is uh, offensive ability, but I, I can still, you know, keep the puck out of our net. Derek Kegel is our guest. You had a chance to kind of get your feet wet with Missouri State. What are your thoughts so far? Uh, I love it here. It was uh, really easy to transition for my last team uh, coming back to my home state. Uh, all the guys on the team I've played with growing up or I've known them from uh, St. Louis area, so it was really easy coming here. Is there anything different between juniors or your last team and college? Uh, just a different group of guys. You know, everyone has their own personality. Uh, can't wear the visor anymore. You know, no fights. Though I didn't fight at all. I wasn't much of a fighter, but uh, yeah, it's not too different. So no one will ever go you into a fight at all? No. Nope. You have no inkling of wanting to even get involved in that, do you? Uh, I, can, I can get in there. I'm, he's got to be my size, though. I'm not going after the big guys, but uh, I can hold my own. Well, you're listed at 5'8", 170. I can tell you right now, you're taller than me. <laughs> yeah. So Somebody messed that up. I'm uh, 6'176", as of a couple days ago. So. Okay, I'll make sure I, we get that changed. Yeah, because Unless no you worries. want to keep it that way, people could yeah, we'll think you're smaller yeah, there you go. than you are. Absolutely. Derek Cagle is joining us. All right, uh, brothers, sisters? Uh, I got three brothers and a sister. Uh, they're all much older. I was the uh, sort of the oh my god baby, as my dad calls it. So uh, there's a big age gap there, but yeah, I got four siblings. Right, in other words, their career's already going and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, I think, just hitting uh, low 30s, all of them, okay. so I'm pretty far behind. Did any of them play hockey? No, I'm the first uh, athlete in my immediate family, actually. What got you started in hockey, then? Uh, I have two cousins, actually, that played at uh, Sacramento High School, and, uh, you know, they always would play with me in their garage and stuff, shoot hockey pucks, and I just fell in love with it right away. It was easy to get into. Do you remember, so it didn't really start on ice. It started maybe on foot in the garage somewhere? Oh, yeah, or? no, I didn't hop on the ice right away, but uh, I think I started late compared to most people. I started when I was 9 or 10, maybe. That's considered very late. Yeah. What was your first time on the ice? Do you remember it? I have no idea. It was in uh, it was in Jefferson City actually, where uh, Mizzou plays. Is where I first skated. Okay, that that old rink right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah, it was there. Okay. Do you remember your first goal, like the first time you ever played in in uh, organized sports? Uh, I played for the St. Peter's Spirit. That was probably where I had my first goal. I don't know. I like I started so late. It was uh. I was so far behind everybody else, like, on my team, so I, d I didn't score much. But, uh, no, I, don't, I can't remember my first goal, no. Starting late, is it just because you couldn't get onto the ice or did you have other sports that might have been uh, yeah, taking yeah, your time? I, yeah, I played baseball a little bit in elementary school. I mean, most kids jump around sports sport, soccer, baseball, stuff like that. But, uh yeah, I don't know. I just never really uh, watched a hockey game. You know, I never really uh, was exposed to that kind of stuff until my cousins got me into it. So, Derek Cagle is joining us of Missouri State. What's the craziest hockey game you've ever been in? Craziest hockey game you've ever been in? Uh, probably my uh, last year of U18 hockey. I played for uh, Car Shield. And uh, I played against uh, a couple of the guys on the team now, Matt McGowan and Bratton, and uh, they were on the AAA Blues team. And uh, I don't know, it was back and forth with, uh, with us the uh, whole year. I feel like that was the most uh, intense game I've ever played. It was that last one. They uh, they beat us in uh, overtime or double overtime. And, oh, that's uh, not good. Yeah, I know. McGowan actually had the game winner. So I'll we'll have to talk to him about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's obviously one of the reasons why you chose to come here is because you knew some of the players. Yeah, I know a lot of them. They're all super great. Made it really easy to uh, transition. Had you been keeping up with Missouri State at all, especially since they, they went here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, 
I knew a lot of the older guys, too, that came here when I was still in high school after they graduated, so I've been keeping up with them for a while. Derek Hagel is joining us of Missouri State. Out of St. Peter's, a uh, lot of hockey up there. Yeah, is yeah. the Blues your favorite hockey team? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Stanley Cup in 2019, that was huge. That was the first cup ever. So that was awesome to watch that game live and see that. So far, so good, even with the additions and subtractions. This year, you think they're going to go far? I'm hoping so, yeah. really hope so. You know, the Stanley Cup was in this building before. Really? Yep. Back I didn't know that. After they won in October of the following year, uh -huh. it was on kind of a tour here, and they brought it downtown, and it started to rain, so then they regathered and they brought it in here people got out of the ice they got their pictures taken with it it's been in the ice bears locker room oh so it's it's been here oh, that's cool we've been pressed with glory here yeah definitely i wish i was here for that well there may be some other championships in your future yeah, let's I'm, hope. I'm assuming that's what you want with this oh, hockey yeah. club yeah definitely definitely do. okay who is as we're talking with Derek kegel of missouri state who's kind of the the inspiration right now who do you think's the leader on this hockey club right now uh, we actually uh, picked our captains yesterday, and it's uh, Jacob Wetop. I feel like he's a good leader. He uses his voice a lot. But uh, we also have a lot of older guys who aren't afraid to step up and, you know, voice their opinion and stuff, and uh, it helps us a lot. Is there something that you've kind of picked up right now that has been helpful to you? Uh, not really, just to kind of take it one day at a time. You know, they all say the same thing, that it goes by fast. So, uh, yeah, I just need to take it one day at a time. Do you remember your first goal ever? No, I don't. I do not. Uh, I was probably like 12 when I had it. Just What's your most memorable random. goal? Um, probably in a high school, actually. I played for Duchenne uh, High School in St. Charles. And uh, at the uh, state game or semifinals or something there, I had a overtime goal to send us to the championship. So that was really cool to do that in front of my uh, classmates and stuff like that. Derek Kegel is our guest. Okay, one last question. Do you have any superstitions or anything that you have to do every game before you get ready? Uh, I got nothing. I can, you know, do something random and go out and play. It doesn't really matter for me. I just So it doesn't matter what, what skate you put on first? or No, I think I switch it up every time, actually, now that you mention that. Okay. I, don't, I don't really pay attention at all. No go-to music, no go-to meal in the beginning? Uh, I, like, I like all music, actually. I listen to rock and roll a lot rap music, uh, house music, you know, dubstep type of deal. So, Okay, I lied. One last question. <laughs> and this goes from a TikTok video that I just saw the other day, TikTok. and they were asking millennials and uh, younger crowd if they knew what the Yellow Pages was. Yellow Pages? Is that like journalism or newspapers or something like that? Do you know what a Sega is? A Sega? Yeah, I do. It's a gaming thing. Okay. Yeah. That's like Sonic, right? Uh, it's it's a game system, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think so. Okay. Well, they were asking questions like that, uh -huh. and, it's, and it's interesting. Uh, do you know what Intellivision is? Oh, uh, what's that? Intellivision. Uh-uh. No idea. Do you know what a rotary phone is? A rotary... Yeah, he's that doing, thing, doing yeah, the, the dial. He's doing the dial, yeah. Yep. Okay, I won't embarrass you anymore, <laughs> but just go look up on TikTok and it's or YouTube or whatever. Right. It, it's kind of fun asking people stuff from you know the 70s and the 80s mm -hmm. and and where kids nowadays just don't know the answers. Yeah, yeah, especially the younger ones. But I can tell you right now, you guys know how to do a lot of stuff electronically that I couldn't try or know how to do if I tried. So yeah, I don't know. you got a that. nice setup here. I couldn't, I couldn't do any of that. So. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. But uh, you've got a nice setup, too. You have a team that uh, is itching to get a win out there. So yeah, hopefully definitely. you'll do that get some more goals, too. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. All right, well, thanks for doing this. This is Derek Kegel of Missouri State. We'll take a break. Be back. More hockey coming up in a moment. Tri Lakes Marines started with Pat and Eric working out of the back of their service truck, repairing boats and keeping folks on the water. Today, Tri Lakes Marine is the largest Yamaha outboard dealer in the state. At Tri Lakes Marine, you will find in stock Yamaha outboards, G3 aluminum fishing boats, and a full lineup of Suncatcher pontoon boats. And Tri Lakes Marine is still a full service dealer with a complete Yamaha service center because maintenance matters. We take care of our customers. Check out our full lineup of boats and motors at Tri Lakes Marine 
15 minutes south of Nixa on Highway 160. Hey, Missouri! Barrel Bob here. I'm MoDOT's Work Zone Spokes Barrel. I see a lot of distracted drivers in work zones not paying attention to the road. Distracted driving is the number one cause of crashes. The average text takes five seconds to read. At 55 miles per hour, you could travel the length of a football field blindfolded. Don't take the chance. I want you and my friends working on the roads to get home safely. Please buckle up and put your phone down. A message from the Missouri Department of Transportation. Let's head for the third period. Here's Steve Kasson. Along with Scott Lutzke on graphics and doing camera work for us here tonight. It is... It is Jared Bratton. And Jared, want to throw you on here. Okay, so you've seen two periods of this game. You saw the Illinois State game. Uh, first of all, what's the comparison? What's different between this game versus last time? Um, honestly, I think I think our effort's a lot better. I think we're going a lot harder on pucks, and we're a lot stronger in battles and stuff. And those 50-50 battles in the corners and stuff are really, really winning them. We're kind of turning them to 80-20 battles. Uh, so, in your mind, should this be more than two nothing? Um, honestly. I think so. I think we could put a couple more in. We've had some great chances, and I think they'll start to come a little more, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, well, appreciate, again, you doing camera work for us here tonight. As Missouri State now will skate, this time from the left to the right, and Illinois from the right to the left. Underway in period number three. And Joe Bacardi had it taken away from him. Jack Kolb with it. He gets a drive in. It sails wide to the near side boards. Underway here in period number two, uh, three, that is. It's 2-0 Missouri State. That's what I meant to say. Ross and Wetop with the two goals. Ross's came at 114, and Wetop's came at 1539 as a drive by DeAndrea is held on to by Matt Griffin. The senior 6'2", 200 out of Glen Carbon, Illinois. The Ice Bears looking to get their first win on the season. They lost both games in Illinois State. The last game was a shutout, 4-0. Puck all the way down, no icing as Daw is able to wave it off by stepping in front of the defenseman there. That was McLean. Now it's back out to center ice for Anderson. Anderson with some help by Kaspik. It'll be sent in now to Brackbill out in front. Pinball's off his skate. It goes into the corner to Ettinger, but the Ice Bears not clear, able to clear it. Ettinger with it again. And a line change for Illinois, a complete one. And meanwhile, the puck is sent back down to the Illinois zone for Dorian. He will grab, spinning it to Ivory. Intercepted by Missouri State. Right back in for Alpi. He'll have it for the Illini. Stolen by the Ice Bears, Ross. Sent to the near side. Off of right stick, tipped in by Hofstetter. And down low. Intercepted by Ivory, and now taken to the right side. Worked into the corner, a opportunity for Alpi. It's sent behind the Missouri State net, 8.18 to go in this period. And the Ice Bears, they'll try to work it out to center ice. Shoveled ahead by Evan Ross. Has the other goal for Missouri State in today's game, or tonight's game. That could be today if you're watching in Hawaii. Now here comes Matvi with a drive in save. Oh, the pass came out in front of the big save there. Lawson was waiting for that. And as he got the shot, actually no, that's 26, Medlinski. As Medlinski got the shot, good save by Griffin. They had not put the shot up on the board yet, but it should be 29. Puck into the corner now for Mustanis. Now down in low once again. Mustanis again. Centered out in front, and Griffin is able to hold on to it as Mustanis skates right through. 
17-20 to go in the period and a 2-0 lead for Missouri State. Last year, mentioned Jacob Leetop. He was the leading scorer for the Ice Bears, 16 goals, 19 assists last season. Ice Bears have it again in their own zone, McCarty. They play catch with those him and Raymer. Kicked out and sent all the way down by Witter back in the Illinois zone. Lohman to put a check. Raymer keeps it in. Sent behind the net, working it around is Alpi. It's out to center, sent back in and delayed offside for Missouri State and it's been called. Sixteen forty-eight to go in the period. Two nothing. In favor of Missouri State. These same two teams tomorrow at six p.m. We hope you'll tune in. And I hope my voice gets better. It, it, it is, but for some reason, Pecksky cough is going on, and they forgot to run the clock again. So there will be a lot of time to get taken off the clock, and it still hasn't run. So we'll keep the official time with us, 16.25 to go in the period. Bucks in all the way in. Grabbed by Kolb. Drop down in low, DeAndrea with a drive. It sails into the corner. Puck is cleared back in the Illinois zone. DeAndrea is able to click it back off. And send it in the Missouri State zone. We got the clock running as Scott ran over there to go tell him that. Now Wietop gives it up. Anderson gets a shot. Moved into the corner, held in nicely by Cagle. Here's a shot right in front by Wietop, and it just missed wide. Somebody lost their stick. I think it's uh, Dorian, but he's still in there, a scrum on the near side boards. Kolb is able to dig it out, and he will send it up high and flip it all the way out. Comes back now for Missouri State. At the half boards. Grabbed by Motviev. Mot or Motviev. Now a shot in and say 1507 to go. They asked us how much time is left, and so they're gonna make that change now. Let them know that 15.07 should be the time on the board. They're going to let both coaches know that the time did not run off. And they have corrected it. 15.07. Scott didn't know that we have to keep official time either here tonight. But we did. Play is underway. Malthner. He'll backhand it down and roll it all the way through. Brackville to keep on the near side. Matviev. He'll try to work it. Or Mativ, that is. Stolen by Kaspik. Held in by Malthner, driving it. Blocked in front. That hit up high. McDonald. Puck at center, and the Ice Bears will bring it in the zone out of the reach of Clayton Daw, and it's clear. Missouri State with a dump in. They led on the right side to Ross. He didn't get to it in time. Shoveled back out and turned around for Missouri State to enter the zone. They'll keep possession, although it's a delayed offside, and they clear the zone. 14 minutes to go in the period. Pucks in all the way down. This is no icing. Apparently it's been uh, waved off. And the Ice Bears, Raymer, will send it to the near side boards. Gets it out. Off for Hofstetter. We'll bring it back out to center and we'll set things up once again. Mentioned Sean Hofstetter. 
Six goals, one assist with Concordia University, Wisconsin of NCAA double three. That's where he played before coming to Missouri State. Now we get an ice bear upended. Hofstetter, we're going to get a penalty. It is a tripping call. So McLean will go for tripping. That's his second consecutive penalty. Just the third power play for Missouri State. We top to win. Olsen with it. Now to Daw. He shoots in and a save. Would able to hold on to that one through some traffic. 13 21 to go in the period. Shots now 29 as they'll give him a shot on that. 29 to 20. Olsen didn't know where it was. Kolb will have it. It's a two on one. Kolb working in along with Ettingen. Broken up by Missouri State. Ice Bears come back. They have a four on two across the line. Going to get set up. Lohman now works it behind a dog. Power play has 134. Here's Olsen. He shoots in, save, rebound loose, and it's cleared. The Missouri State had a little trouble with that four on two, but by the time they were able to get something established, Illinois was able to get set back up defensively. So here's Olsen quickly across the line to Weetop. And Daw in front to Daw, backhander and he missed. Rebound, it's cleared to the corner. Lohman is there to take it away. To the point now. Cagle, uh, left side that is. Now to Wita. He shoots, went past and behind Daw. Lohman fights for the puck. Bogdanoff in there for Illinois. Cagle to keep it in for Missouri State. Wita with the drive, he missed wide. Cagle again, no, it's, he lost it. Here's Mateev. He will have it on a break, partially into the zone. He gets hooked, penalty. Ice Bears will get called for hooking. At least I hope. I don't think it's going to be a penalty shot. And that's kind of where you have to say, all right, maybe that's a good penalty. It's hooking. And it will be Carlo, or excuse me, Josh Olson. Olson will go. So in 36 seconds, it will be power play number six. Now the good thing is Missouri State right now is 100%. They've been shorthanded 10 times. They've allowed no goals. And Missouri State will win the draw. Two minutes for hooking at 7.58 of the third period. A two minute minor for hooking. That's the call there. The Ice Bears are able to keep it on side. That'll kill some time on the four on four. But in 15 seconds, it'll be power play number six. Here's DeAndrea. He gets held up. Cold brings it in the zone. Now there's a power play. Out of the box is McLean. He'll go to the bench. Ice Bears pick it up. They might have some numbers here. Brackbill. He gets a drive off, save, and thinking better of it was the experts, or the uh, Illinois goaltender Woodring. He was going to move it, but thought a little better of it as he was as he made the decision not to play the puck. 11:18 to go in the period. 114 remaining in the penalty. 
Witter and Mativ to win the draw. And it'll be DeAndrea to clear it out to center ice. They connect now with Ettingen. Moved by DeAndrea. Set back down to the Missouri State zone. 58 seconds left in the power play. Icebergs have it. They clear to the far side. Not out, though. Oh, good play there by Terrence Josephson. Good hustle, but he couldn't clear it out of the zone. Josephson now gets possession. Icebergs, if they hurry, they have a three on one. Josephson, as everybody catches up, puck comes right through. Anderson couldn't see it. Into the near side boards. Alpi, he'll go for it. Checks Cagle off of Missouri State. Now behind the net. There is a scrum there, a three on one scrum. <laughs> Ross will get his second goal of the game. And Missouri State, as I mentioned, leads 3-0 here in the third period. As the Ice Bears work that one to perfection. Hofstetter will get the second assist on Ross's goals. And Missouri State has that 3-0 advantage, this goal will come at 12.04 of the period. Ice Bears goal, his second of the game, scored by number 71, Evan Ross. Assisted by number nine, Sean Hostetter. Time of that goal at 12.04 of the third period, scored by number 71, assisted by number nine. That's a Missouri State. So the Ice Bears with a 3-0 lead. And a 34-21 shot advantage that they've updated the scoreboard. We'll update ours in a moment. Witter now after the draw and cold they battle. Kelly has to get around the official. Dorian is there to push him down for Illinois. Bogdanov, he'll bring it out to center. Swept around into the corner now. Puck is right out in front. It's deflected away. Getting pushed down is Levi Wright. And Illinois with a short change. Alpi comes off. Kelly had it for a moment. And Missouri State will gain possession once again. McLean to Montvive. Now working in is Feldman. And he is second shift, Jacob Feldman. Buck is cleared back out. And DeAndre is there. Sixteen twenty-seven to go in the period. Or make that six twenty-seven. And we get a stoppage in play now. These same two teams tomorrow, 6 o'clock. We will have that broadcast for you right here. As long as we can get the gremlins out. There seems to be a lot of gremlins going on here tonight. But we are going to get a penalty. It will be assessed to the Illini's Mike Ivory. So five penalties, 10 minutes, power play number four for Missouri State. Raymer, down in the little Hofstetter. Behind the net, Kaspik to McGowan. Up to Raymer, McGowan right side. Taken away and not cleared. It was blocked in front by Dorian, but the Ice Bears keep it in. Down low to Brackbill. Works it around to Caspic. Pulled off the play, but McGowan is able to keep it in. Ativ, can he clear? Yes, he's able to, but Caspic will have to set it up again for Missouri State.
Ice Bears now work into the zone. Everyone sets up, Hofstetter left side, down in low. Off of McGowan's stick, and Kaspik also had a hand in it. And the Ice Bears will set it up with less than a minute to go on the power play. Jack Brackville. I'm going to work the puck for Missouri State. Brackville, ninth in scoring last season. Seven goals, six assists. Now here's Entengen off of him. And it's cleared back. Ice Bears Daw across the line. He steps around Mustanis. Back down for Kolb with a drive and a stick save into the corner. Now Mustanis has it for Illinois. 19 seconds to go on the power play. Ice Bears trying to get something going here. They lead 3 0. Olsen drops it off to Weetop. Over to Daw, too fast and too hard for him. Daw not able to keep it in. Mustanis has it as we go back to five on five. Ice Bears with a drive by Lohman. It's held on to by Woodring. 4-11 to go in the period. And a 3-0 lead for Missouri State. 141 of the first, Ross. 15-39 of the first, Weetop. And 12.04 of the third, Ross with his second of the game. Ice Bears with the drive in. Josephson on the doorstep and a save. Maltener got the original shot. Josephson on the rebound with four minutes to go in the period. Buck flip down for Ross looking for the hat trick. Evan Ross. Had two goals versus Colorado February 18th. He's not at three. Here's Wright with a drive, and it's corralled by Woodring again. 3.40 to go in the period. Thirty-seven twenty-two are the shots in favor of Missouri State. Dorian's there. Puck deflected, and the Ice Bears are able to keep it in. What a good play by Wojcicki. One hands it down for Kelly. Kelly and Alpi battle for it into the corner. Kelly still trying to poke it free. Alpi's there to tie it up along the boards. 3.18 to go in the period. Witter in to try to move it. Alpi still has it, but it's grabbed by Cole, but he's able to clear it off the glass, out to center, all the way down. And do we get an icing? Well, one of... One official said yes, the other said no, so we play on. Good save there off the shoulder of Griffin, and now we get a whistle. Buck is played with a high stick. Two fifty-seven to go in the period. And a three-nothing lead for Missouri State. Face off, no, we're not gonna get a face off. We're gonna get a timeout. timeout Missouri State. So Missouri State takes the timeout. We will take a quick timeout. We'll be back in just a moment. Three nothing Ice Bears, 2.57 to go in the game. Hey Missouri, Barrel Bob here. I'm MoDOT's Work Zone Spokes Barrel. I see a lot of distracted drivers in work zones not paying attention to the road. Distracted driving is the number one cause of crashes. The average text takes five seconds to read. At 55 miles per hour, you could travel the length of a football field blindfolded. Don't take the chance. I want you and my friends working on the roads to get home safely. Please buckle up and put your phone down. A message from the Missouri Department of Transportation. Yeah, they always play that here in the third period. I have to throw some base on that one. 256, face off is one, and Illinois will keep it in their Ice Bears zone. 
DeAndrea sent it down low. Buck comes to the side and a save by Griffin. Raymer to lead the charge to Weetop across the line. Weetop shoots safe. Rebound McGowan. It hopped over his stick as it was poked away by Woodring. We come the other way. Atviv is uh, the officials let it go. A stick goes flying, maybe broken. And that is Illinois' Matvi. He's going to go to the bench. We top steals, looking for the wraparound. It's blocked out in DeAndrea skates, and he'll hold on. 2.12 to go in the period. And still a 3-0 lead for Missouri State. Ross has two goals. Weetop has one. Ross has one in the first and one in the third, sandwiched with Weetop. Anderson with a shot. It's blocked. And Kolb with a backhander that did not work. He fanned on it. Could add a little bit of a break for the Illini. Now they keep it in the zone. Bogdanov off of his stick. Cycled around. Alpi calling for it. Cole dropped it down low on the Ice Bears intercept. Kegel to Daw to Kegel. He shoots safe. Rebound. It's moved into the corner. Good save there by Woodring. And on the Ice Bears break. 1.30 to go in the period. Puck is flipped back down, and we do not get an icing. Line change for Missouri State. Quick pass all the way down. This should be an icing, though. And it is. 1.16 to go in this period. Face off in the Illinois zone with 116 remaining. Josephson comes in. Mastenis and the Ice Bears do win it right with a drive in. Was going high and wide, but we'll do another face off as Woodring makes the catch. 112 to go in the period. Josephson in, Mastanis in, and McLean will grab it for Illinois. To the far side to Demetro Schmidt. Second shift for him. Less than a minute to go in this period. Kaspik is there. Josephson off the back of the boards to Kaspik. To the far side now, Hofstetter. Alpi comes in to put a check on Kaspik. And now Illinois with Mastanis. Shot comes in, and it'll be grabbed and held onto by Griffin. 35.3 seconds remaining. Once again, the game for you tomorrow. We'll have it right here on Web Sports Radio, 6 o'clock. We hope you'll tune in for that. Thirty-five point three to go in this period. Buck one, Ice Bears will have it. Ross will send it down. Leads Loman. Loman left side. In front to Carlo Witter. Back out in front and Loman just couldn't get his stick on it. 18 seconds to go. Great defensive play in front. Looked like uh, Shane Refke on the ice now made that save, number eight. Ice Bears have it again with four seconds. Up the middle, here's Loman. He shoots. Good save at the buzzer. <laughs> Missouri State gets their first win of the season. And the Ice Bears do what happened to them their past game. They shut out the opponent, 
3-0. Ross at 141. Sister Hofstetter. We top at 15-39. Assista McGowan. And then in the third period at 12.04, Ross, his second, Hofstetter with the assist, 3-0 Missouri State. Shots on goal in the third period, Griffin faces 10. Three period 24, Woodering faces 13, three period total of 40. Power plays, Missouri State 0 for 4, and for the Illini, they were 0 for 6. So Missouri State still perfect on the penalty kill this season. So we will have our on ice interview. And of course, Evan Ross will be the on ice interview here. All right, fans, we're here with our almost anglers coaches selected player of the game tonight with two goals. Number 71, Evan Ross. And Evan, if you would, uh, that second goal was kind of left wide open for you. But sometimes it's easy to miss a few of those. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hoff made a really good play. Just did what I could. And coming here again, I know we opened up the season out on the road on Illinois State. Wasn't exactly the way we wanted to leave that area, but coming back home, playing in front of this crowd in late September, what's that feel like for you guys? Great. I think we had a couple really good weeks of practice, and it definitely, definitely showed. And I know that our uh, our steak and shake player of the game as selected by the Booster Club tonight was Mr. Griffin. 24 saves. You guys feeling pretty confident playing in front of him? Yes, absolutely. We're making a joke. He looked like Superman out there. And uh, one last question. What is it with Hank Lohman's new haircut? Oh, I don't know about that one. Uh, he's got a couple funny remarks about it, but I would never do that. All right, he's going to keep it quiet, everyone. Again, tonight, our Almost Anglers Fishing Player of the Game, as selected by the coaches, number 71, Evan Ross. A couple of goals for him, 141 of the first and 12.04 of the third. 3 nothing. the Ice Bears take the win. They will hope to even their record up at 2-2 two and two tomorrow with the game against the Illini. 6 o'clock Central Time, we will have it for you, and that will do it for us here at Jordan Valley Ice Park and the Stan Melton Ice Arena. For Scott Lutzke on graphics, and my cameraman did a great job tonight, Jared Bratton. I'm Steve Casson. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow again. The final score, 3-0 Missouri State wins tonight. Good night, everyone. You've been listening to Missouri State Ice Bears Hockey with your host, Steve Casson. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's game. Ice Bears Hockey is a presentation of DS Sports Enterprises and WebSportsRadio.com.